have a question. Which do you like more, eating ice cream from a cup or eating ice cream from a cone? Cups are great for Sundays. But if you just want ice cream, I think you need a way to better deliver that frozen treat into your mouth. Yeah, that's right. I'm all about the cone. But either way, the cup or the cone, ice cream comes with a catch. It doesn't last very long. And that can be a real problem, especially if you're a cone lover like me. If you're not fast enough, that ice cream will drip down your hand, down your arm, right to the floor, leaving a puddle of ice cream at your feet. When it comes to ice cream cones, there's no time to waste. You know, thinking about ice cream cones and making sure we don't waste our time while eating them makes me think of a Bible passage that Paul wrote. Remember Paul? He began his life as Saul. He believed in God, but he didn't believe that Jesus was God the Son, the one he sent to save us. And Saul was a bad dude. He spent his time capturing people who did believe in Jesus and making sure they got punished. But then Jesus appeared and spoke to Saul, blinding him with a bright light. A man named Ananias helped Saul see the truth that Jesus really was, is the one who saves us all. And after that, everything changed. Saul changed his name from Saul to Paul. But it wasn't just his name that changed. Everything else about him was different too. Instead of hurting Christians, he told people everywhere that Jesus is the only way to God telling them that keeping rules was the most important thing. He learned that believing in Jesus was the way to be close to God. And one of those things that Paul tells us is that it doesn't matter how many good things we do or how much stuff we have or how important we think we are. The measure of a good life is a life spent focusing on the right things. Check out all these things that Paul has to say about stuff, money, and popularity. I thought things like that were really something great, but now I consider them to be nothing because of Christ. Even more, I consider everything to be nothing compared to knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. To know Him is worth much more than anything else. Because of Him, I have lost everything, but I consider all of it to be garbage so I can know Christ better. I want to be joined to Him. Being right with God does not come from my obeying the law. It comes because I believe in Christ. It comes from God because of faith. I push myself forward toward the goal to win the prize. God has appointed me to win it. The heavenly prize is Christ Jesus himself. Paul sure has a way of putting things in perspective. He knew that there were are so many things that compete for our attention. Some people chase after money and things. Some focus on power and promotions. Some just want popularity. Some are focused on art and sports and hobbies. Paul says all of those things, as great as they may be, are nothing compared to knowing Jesus. Paul knew that life on earth was fleeting. We are only here for a short time, especially compared to eternity. The one thing that matters most, he says, is knowing Jesus. It isn't always easy to keep your focus on Jesus. How many of you have a busy week ahead of you? How many of you have at least one activity this week? How many of you have hobbies and passions and goals? So many things that compete for our attention. And that's great, but at the end of the day, make sure it's Jesus, not sports, not music, not dance, not art, not anything that comes first. And when it's hard to focus on Jesus, you can pray for Jesus to help you put your focus on Him and Him alone.